everybody. Andrew Hawks with Those Guys Painting Company here with Mark Drain. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your uh, your company. What's the name of your company? Yeah, my company is called Exemplary Coaching. Okay. And I'm a life coach and a business coach. Fantastic. You work in West Michigan or nationally? What's your um, target area? Yeah, West Michigan uh, okay. mainly. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So Mark, what would be your best piece of advice for someone's life? Um, advice for somebody's life, I, I would say, don't take yourself too seriously. Like you know, that. I think there's, there's too much in life where uh, we're either serious or we're under pressure and we put other people under pressure. Um, and I think so many areas of our lives could be improved by a light-hearted moment or just the fact that we don't think of ourselves too highly. One of the things we also wanted to talk about was um, the concept of strength versus weakness. And really, you know, as someone who's, who's helping uh, to really develop people and help them, I guess, be the best versions of themselves, mm -hmm. what's something along those lines that you, uh, I guess, talk a little bit about strengths versus weaknesses and how you encourage people to really make the best of their, uh, of their time and of their, uh, of their abilities? You have this strange fascination for uh, weaknesses in, in Western culture. Right. Um, I can think of a couple of examples. So, you know, somebody at school, uh, they're doing well in uh, quite a number of subjects, but in the, in the couple of subjects, they're not doing so well. So rather than celebrating the successes in, in one area, they're often encouraged to put more time and effort into those other areas to try and bring the grades up, either with extra coaching or tutorials or what, whatever it may be. Um, but it doesn't just happen within the school arena, it can also happen within the work arena as well. So uh, somebody who may feel as though they don't have good people skills or communication skills uh, may want to put time and effort into that. Um, instead of focusing on their strengths, they're putting time and effort into their weaknesses. What are some of the things, because we still have, I guess, the, the pressure to be a well-rounded human being, yeah. what are some of the strategies that we can use when we identify something hey I'm, not, I'm really not great at this versus hey i really just really get turned on when i get to do this what are the some of the tactics that we can use to free up more time to do what we're good at the keys is first of all recognizing what our strengths right. and weaknesses are right um, and as a business coach that's one of the things that i do with my clients um, a swot analysis so strengths weaknesses, opportunities, threats. I know opportunities and threats we're not focusing on today, but it just helps them begin to recognize those areas where they're strong, areas where they're weak. I would use certain questions to just help prompt them to think about those kinds of things. Um, so, uh, for example, what advantage might an individual have over other people? Um, what accomplishment are they most proud of? Those th kind of things, are, and many more questions like that, they begin to show and indicate an area of strength. Right. Weakness can be highlighted by questions like, so what kind of tasks do you put off because you, you feel uncomfortable doing it? Right. Or what are some of the negative work habits that you have? Yeah, it's kind of that, the concept of, like we really focus on here, things that we can really do really really well at yeah we try to put as much and just completely hedge on that and go all in on something that we feel we're winning in mm -hmm.